Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising Weekly Tarot and the Normand reading uh, for December 17th to December 23rd, 2018 And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind once again that this is a, a general reading for Scorpio Star Sign and therefore is going to resonate in a different level differently for every single different Scorpio in this planet so uh, in this general reading the best I can do is to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end uh, you are the one who can make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want your personal situation to be a subject of a reading then that is a, a matter of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of uh, my services as well as their pricing and if you go for that uh, don't forget that until the end of December the prices of the 20 and the 30 minute personal reading with me are with reduced costs so these are the four cards for you Scorpio for that week so we do have and this also is going to be an enhanced tarot spread uh, which means that we are to draw different uh, one additional card per position but uh, oh my god I think I'm going to sneeze uh, not yet so the first position here which is the topic of your week or of our week because I'm Scorpio we do have the four of swords core of the situation here is going to be the seven of pentacles challenges which are causing predicaments we do have the ten of pentacles and the last one that is going to be the guidance which is the hanged man so overview it does look a, a major changes into our plans that it is about to happen throughout that week for rather more positive reasons than negative reasons all right so what I think here that it is to happen is that a additional resources or additional circumstances are to appear in in our world which are serious which are make us seriously reconsider how far we can go either with our business or either with our relationship so uh, the additional card to the uh, four of swords that is going to be the ace of swords so we are definitely talking about a revelations of a, a new um, <clears throat> new ways how we can handle one situation so this week here with the four of swords and with the ace of swords is going to be spent more upon uh, deliberations and also negotiations and conversations with the people that uh, we depend from all right or the people that are involved uh, into our situation additionally so we can uh, kind of like reach the most uh, productive way of how we can develop our relationship further or our career further now <clears throat> the four of swords on its own when combined with this with the ace of swords it does represent these fruitful conversations with a, a very faithful companion you know a very best friend of yours your mother for example if you are in a good terms with uh, with her uh, or uh, <clears throat> you know your partner into into relationship as well for example you are baffled uh, where to go into your career you know you may have for example a couple of jobs to choose from you don't know which one will be best for you and for your relationship for that matter so this week will be spent into deliberating for example with your partner with job is going to be good uh, is going to be the best for you now very important here is to really talk about your problems and talk about your dilemmas because only through talking with uh, as I said faithful companions or even if you are completely on your own um, psychotherapists or, or psychiatrists are also can help your for example you know qualified help for that matter it could be business advisor you know if you're facing depression again psychotherapist could be something that you have to talk uh, talk with uh, you know if you want to establish a a, a business that will be uh, some consultant or 
<clears throat> if you want to file for a divorce, you know, that is going to be a lawyer as well. What these cards here are pointing is that throughout that week, we are to obtain a, a much accurate and bigger picture uh, upon our situation which is going to give us the prerequisite to make the right actions in order to uh, end up much more beneficial and with less tantrums to achieve whatever we are after now if i have to connect this with me which is uh, because i'm scorpio i may give myself as an example all that here speaks for uh, because for me, my work is um, on the front lines. Uh, for the for me, that speaks that I will have to make a um, how can I place it a, a serious conversations which were already started by the way with my manager just to figure out new contents for you guys throughout the new year. So I'm just talking from my personal standpoint but for you it could relate to something completely different it does depend what you are going through right now just so you can know just so you know that week is going to be more passive than active and it will require or it will involve you sharing your problems and your dilemmas so you can find through meaningful conversations you know the right course of action and that is provoked here by the seven of pentacles in conjunction with the nine of swords and some of you or some of us are because they are realizing what um which actions that they are incorporating at this very moment are futile and they don't give any results now i recognize for myself all right and uh, these are the daily uh, predictions that I'm doing and I'm realizing that no because uh, they may be good you know I don't want to judge my own work they may be good they may be awful all right but simply people don't have the time to watch them and that's why they are rather uh, more futile because they drain more energy from myself than they are giving results so that will be for me the recognition that I can redirect that energy to make better content for you guys so this is from my personal standpoint but it is uh, where you recognize that you are taking much less for more investments into it or for the bigger investments that you are giving into a certain undertaking and a certain action certain jobs certain relationships certain interactions and etc etc then you are actually taking from it you know and that recognition here is going to provoke the deliberations of how you can distribute all that energy or all those resources that you are spending in a futile direction into a much more positive ways now the way that I I'm seeing these cards as well that could be a recognition you know that you have just wasted your time with something and that is completely fine you know because that will give you a, a very important lessons because whatever lesson is learned through the seven of pentacles it is never repeated again so even if you recognize that you have made some mistake you, you mistakes you have wasted some money you have wasted some time or some emotional um, investment here and etc etc that will be uh, a, a lesson learned all right and and you will never ever going to do such an error such a mistake under the same circumstances it is because we will be carefully analyzed deliberated taking notes out and from there a, a very correct structural plan is going to take place through which you will be able to improve your circumstance circumstances tremendously because the ace of swords it is exactly that recognizing where the cracks are where all that this leaks the one has either emotionally or or you know materially into their environment and make taking the necessary measures in this case uh, here at, at that specific week you are to rec to recognize this is just going to be the process excuse me of recognition yet you will not take the steps necessary all right throughout that week maybe the next week or the week after after the new year takes place but now the very process of recognition started and throughout that week if not all of them the majority of those cracks and those leaks and those jeopardies are to be recognized addressed and a plan is to be created how they can be uh, kind of like fixed patched repaired you name it 
The next card that we do have for you, Scorpio, that is the challenges which are causing predicaments. And here we are having the 10 of Pentacles, followed by the 9 of Pentacles. So that is a huge challenge for you or for myself as well. This is where we need to recognize that on our own, we ain't gonna be able to make it. So it's kind of like you have to allow yourself to uh, kind of trust somebody. In this case, I gotta trust my manager here, all right? Even though I am doing a terrible job in it, I have to do it. It is just, this is what these cards are pointing. But that will be the challenge for us, the Scorpios, to recognize that actually at that specific time, for an opinion, all right, and for an outlook, of our situation, it is the most objective one, it is the most accurate one, it is exactly one which is going to give us the accurate, again, diagnosis and the accurate perception upon our situations, which from uh, which therefore are going to allow us to structure plan through which we are to improve drastically our circumstances. One more thing with these cards I gotta say here is, is that they deprive one from making reconciliation. So this ain't going to be a week where you can do a, a very successful reconciliation. Now it is not excluded, but because they stand in so challenging position, it will worth way more than it actually, or it will be, it will be way more costly than actually worth. So if you go for reconciliation and things really aren't working out very well for you throughout that week, maybe you want to leave these efforts for the next week that comes around, further supported here by the hangman, but we are going to go into this card uh, <clears throat> in a minute. So what these cards additionally point is that more efforts from your behalf as soon as you recognize where, what has to be patched into your environment needs to be exerted. And for myself, God knows, and God is my witness, I am, I, it's my witness, I am so lazy, guys. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. And I'm just being honest, all right? So these cards here are pointing that nothing is gonna be given to you, Scorpio, on a plaza, but you rather have to work for it. And yet you need to recognize what really worth working for. And this is exactly why you need to have these deliberations and conversations. Uh, with people that are seeing things differently than you are seeing, you know, so uh, it, all in all this week it is where something is going to drag you off your tunnel visioning and is going to give you a, a new perspective, you know, um, new fulcrums for you to focus on. Of course, it will be entirely up to you should you take uh, these uh, opportunities or not, should you learn your lesson or not, and etc, etc. You can uh, kind of like mindlessly and recklessly push into the same direction over and over again. Toward what extent, however, uh, only you can tell from your personal experience. But personally, for me, this reading is a big wake-up call that I'm doing something wrong. I have to recognize it. I did recognize it. And now it's time to deliberate how I can go out of this magic circle or how I can break that magic circle that I am repeating for the past, let's say, couple of months or so. So, the, so the, all in all, this is what these cards are pointing for us Scorpios, right? And the last one here, that is going to be the Hangman, and this is the guidance the Tarot is offering to us, with additionally the Seven of Swords. So what these cards here are pointing, guys, is that we should disregard... Uh, how can I place it? Envy and competition. What we need to do is just focus on our personal things only and we should not kind of like chase methods and, and strategies taken by our competitors either regarding career, relationship or a private businesses. Now what these cards points, point is that the more we dive into the competition, the less the hangman takes place. But what the hangman does in our case here is that it does gives us a, a different perspective. Basically what these cards point, and it is something that my manager told me a couple of days ago, it is that whatever works for someone else, that doesn't necessarily is going to work for you. So what these cards here are pointing that no matter how difficult it does look like, as soon as you recognize you know in what direction you should 
you should start developing here Scorpio you need to do it your own unique way so it is kind of like a, a developing your own unique strategy your own unique skills your own unique performance and etc etc just like I'm doing here in those um, <clears throat> in those videos additionally these cards as well are pointing as a um, guidance that uh, whatever predicaments whatever woes you are facing right now you know uh, they will go on their own accord so uh, everybody is facing you know a certain delays in their life and um, literally in this specific case for you Scorpio those delays are just because you cannot or we cannot well define what we have to do or kind of like how to overcome our magic circle right but with those deliberations uh, those difficulties to overcome and to burst our so our magic circle are going to come on their own accord so all comes for so all everything comes down into um perception everything comes down into um realization that we can be better and we should be better but uh, I will tell it once again you cannot make new brothel with the ho with the old hookers you gotta hire new hookers for the new brothel therefore you got to approach the different project that you are to uh, that you are to recognize is gonna pay off itself with a different means with different performance with with kind of like a, a different um, points of view if you want to say it that way all right <clears throat> and uh, it is then when things are going to really take off for you Scorpio and remember here that you don't have to do it on your own all right you and as soon as you attract someone to help you with uh, and that will be the person that you spend those conversations with as well uh, you are going to see that things can happen much easier than you have initially anticipated and yet you have to put the efforts behind it sitting on your butt is not going to get the job done and just to give you an example of that going for the relationship example the most trivial one something isn't going on very well uh, with your relationship things are a bit cold with your partner well that is probably here from the seven of pentacles it is because uh, you are most likely investing in the wrong direction into your relationship saying you know your partner wants for you to spend time with them but you are investing more into buying trinkets and gifts and etc etc while they only thing they want is you recognizing that from seeing let's say a couple of ther uh, a couple's therapist or a mar marriage therapist i don't know how they are re literally called because we don't have these things into our country by the way in my country it is very well established on marriages and it's simply we don't need these things anyway or these kind of professionalists anyway through that you recognize the problem and you realize that you cannot do it on your own I mean your partner as well need to contribute with you which they are willing to but in the same time you need to adopt different approach by spending more time than buying more trinkets right and then when you do so instead of looking at your um, let's say neighbors relationship where they're a kind of indulging themselves with luxury and for them this is working it is not working for you so as soon as you recognize that and you do what works for you the problems of your relationship are to drop down this is just an example so uh, that being said going for the Lenormand card spread here uh, what the Lenormand are to show us is a uh, event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid for one or another reason so let's see now the first card that we do have this is going to be child and the child stands for innocence it does it does stands for sincerity a child or a new beginning then we do have the gentleman and the gentleman stands for a man and the next one that is going to be the house and the house stands for estate uh, environment personal and home as well sometimes it stands 
for family. So that could mean a new male addition to your family. So if you are pregnant with a boy and you are to give a birth throughout this week, you can know that this is going to be a successful birth. So you can, uh, you can kind of ease your, uh, your worries as well. But in the grand scheme of things, these cards literally means that a, a new person is going to enter in your life for good because we do have the new beginning as a sincerity so they will have his sincere intentions very pure and very condorian intentions towards you and towards your well-being Scorpio and that in fact may be the help that you really need here in order to overcome and burst that magic circle you are finding yourself until this very moment so that being said guys, this was uh, the uh, general Scorpio uh, weekly Tarot and Lenormand trading for December 17th to December 23rd, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, again, this was a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and therefore it's going to resonate differently with every single different Scorpio in this planet. I gave myself as an example here uh, and I explained how this is going to resonate with me as well. I gave an example for a, a typical relationship but if you want your situation to be instead of an example in a different tarot reading which your situation is going to be put under analysis through the tarot cards uh, that is a, a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings uh, please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing and don't forget that as it is December till the end of December my prices for the 20 and the 30 minute tarot readings are with reduced cost so if you want to save some money and have a bunch of a bunch of question answered that is the way you go Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.